Hello everyone, how are you all doing? I am Black Boy and I am a bassist here on YouTube. So a couple of months ago I did a review for this guitar right back here to see whether or not if it was a good beginner guitar for, well yeah, just to see if it was a good beginner guitar. In, to, in short, yes, it is a very good beginner guitar. But towards the end, I started to think, this is also a good base for a mod project. So, today, it's exactly what we're gonna do. We're gonna start modding this bad boy right here. And where are we gonna start off with? Hmm. Boom. So sit back, relax, and uh, we'll get into it. Alright, so like we said, like I said, we're here to do uh, our first of many upgrades to the LTD EC10. And what we're doing today is just simply putting on some new tuning machines. These are hip shots right here, show you hip shot. And one more time, hip shot tuners. We got the closed grip lock, so these are locking tuners, which means we're not going to have to be doing a whole lot of that excess winding uh, to keep the strings tight. Now, uh, because I'm going to keep these strings on, I'm not going to cut them. So it's, it might be a little, might get a little hectic. But so first thing what we're going to do is we're going to take our string cutter winder right here. And we're just going to unwind all the strings. But you know what? We're going to start with one at a time, uh, very good to do it just one at a time. So we're gonna start off with the low E string first. So here. All right, so now since we got that done, all the strings have been taken off. Unfortunately, I was being stupid and I wound one string the wrong way and snapped it. So now I actually have to go out and buy a new set of strings. I was trying to avoid that. Um, so now we're gonna take off the tuning machines. These are uh, 10 millimeters. So I got a nice little socket wrench right here. Uh, got a wrench on this side and a ratcheting close end on this side and uh, we're just gonna take all these out so we're just gonna get on to that remember righty tighty lefty loosey All right, so now with each of the nuts and washers taken off, now we're gonna flip it over. Uh, let me remove the bottom of the bridge so that doesn't fall off, put you down there. So now we're gonna flip it over and actually take out the, the tuning machines. Oh, what do you know? You need a screwdriver. Be right back. All right, got two screwdrivers. Yeah, flathead's not gonna work. Phillips, got Phillips. Let's do this.
All right, let me go get a smaller screwdriver. All right, guys, so as you can see, taking out all the tuning machines, all the old tuning machines, the holes are nice and flush, uh, nothing here. So I'm gonna give this a quick wipe down. All right, just a quick wipe down, clean it up, flip it over. Another quick wipe down. This is also a great time if you want to polish the polish up. All right. So now let's hop. Up. Now let's move on to installing. Hip shot comes with uh, with uh, nice instructions. Tells you everything you need to do. Um, one of the things I like about this is that it also comes with uh, nice, uh, I guess, plates right here. These plates so that you don't have to screw directly into the wood and all new hardware as you can tell uh it's gold because i'm gonna switch all the hardware from this from silver to gold because i just like black and gold better so starting off let's read the directions first okay so step one remove your old tuners and bushings clear uh clean off the headstock with a soft cloth two this is where we are now. Step two, uh, arrange the universal mounting plates with your headstock as shown. So let's take out, let's move all this stuff up here. And uh, as you can see right here, it's showing on the back side. So you gotta flip it back over. Okay, take out the universal headstocks. All right, you got four of them. You got two right there, and then these two are stuck together. Let me see if I can't get them unstuck. Boom, got it. Okay, so Small plate has one, one set of tabs to be face down first. So one set of tabs, one set of tabs. Okay. And judging by the picture, this end right here goes down here first. So, uh, so small plate, uh, small, small plate has one set of tabs placed face down first. Big plate has two set of tabs. Place over, place them over the small plate. All right, so we can do this. And like we said, uh, like it shows here on the picture, the little cuts go at the end. So boom. Okay, so I'm just gonna have these laid out right here first, so that way, uh, because as you can see, my headstock is curved, so I'm gonna have them laid out right there, so now we'll move on to three. Okay, if, you, if your uh, kit features staggered tuning pins, divide your tuning pins into uh, three groups, short, medium, and longs, no, we don't have that because we have two on, uh, three on each side. So that's for that. Uh, he says it right here. Typical six in a line are staggered. Three, and three sets are not. So insert your tuning machine soft. Uh, so now it just says to 
uh, put the two new machines into the holes and then install. So that's what we're going to do right now. One, two, and three. Here we go. All right, guys, so uh, I'm pretty much done here. Just putting on the final touches, uh, tightening these these bad boys down. Um, so because this is a three-on-three, three, uh, and uh, I'll, I'll show you a picture as I'm done tightening, tightening these down. Um, uh, I saw a pitch uh, on the diagram. It, it showed that uh, the little hole for for uh, these little tiny screws right here, these little screws right here, uh, were on one side were supposed to face down, and on the other side face up. And this is so when you tighten tighten this down, um, it would have some uh, the little hole would would rest on one of the tabs, so it wouldn't it wouldn't go any further. Well, uh. I think I might have accidentally got a uh, got a inline six. Not entirely sure. So uh, I quickly tried to take the, the mounting plate off and flip it, flip it over just to see if it would work. Um, did not work. So just put it back on onto how it was. And now just tightening this down, uh, not to tighten, not uh, to make sure not to over tighten, because don't want to damage it. All right, boom! Check that out. Check that out. So real quickly, let me show you on the back here. Like I said, right here, you can see how. Uh, these screw holes are resting up against the plates right here so that way when I tighten this side down the pressure uh, tightening it will pull it this way resting it above whereas on these sides as you can tell uh, tightening it will pull it this way and it just doesn't sit right so I was checking to see if I could flip it over but no um, but also uh, since how we're back here let me show you because these are uh, locking tuners, in order to unopen it, you just screw this little knobs right here out. Whoop. Screw these out, and uh, hopefully I can get a good picture of here. You 
see in there. I'm not too sure if you can see. You can see in here. Yeah. You can, yeah. But there's a little lever in there that, um, but there's a little lever in there that when I screw it, uh, it, it slides down so that you can slide the string in and then you tighten it back up doo -doo -doo -doo, like that. And, uh, it holds the string in place. So let's go ahead and, uh, get this. Shouldn't I really need to go out and get new strings because, well, one, you shouldn't reuse strings, but, uh, I just, I was going to, I was hoping that I would take all these strings off properly and that they would just, uh, when I got, got the new bridge in, I could just then change the strings. And, uh, I was also kind of impatient. You know, didn't want to wait for the new bridge, so. All right, guys, that's it. She's pretty much all restrung. Got to go out and get a new set of strings because I did, like I said, break one string, but that's it. Boom, it looks good. I'm liking this black and gold finish hardware right here. That looks real nice. Yeah. Real nice. Well, uh, that's it. I hope you guys liked the video. Um, I really like, I really like uh, the way how I'm going with this. You know, like I said, this is just the first of many videos on this, the on this excellent beginner uh, LTD EC10 upgrade uh, project mods that I'm doing. Once again, I put in some. Hip shot locking tuners. I will put a link to these bad boys down below. And uh, like I said, uh, I'm turning all the hardware on this bad boy from silver to gold. So it's going to be really, really great. So stick around. Um, you know, can't wait to see what what I'm going to put in next. It all depends on what comes in because I've I've already ordered stuff. Um, my bridge is going to be hip shot, so that way I have matching hip shot tuners and bridges. But uh, I'm really excited for the pickups. When they get here, they're going to be uh, going in. Uh, I really hope they get in here. I really hope the pickups come around about the same time as the bridge because I don't want to put on new strings with a bridge and then put in the pickups or put in the pickups, put on new strings, and then the bridge comes um, because as you guys can already tell, I cannot wait. All right. So, yeah. Well, guys, that's all the time we have for today. I hope you guys like this video. If you guys have any comments or suggestions, jot them down in the comment section below. I'll throw up some more videos that I think you guys might like. One that's uh, my last video and just another video. Also, feel, feel free to subscribe. I do put out new content every other Tuesday, or at least I try to in these crazy times. Um, also, go ahead and like this video. That helps me out. Uh, and, you know, go ahead, share this video if you think it might help someone else out. Once again, guys, thanks for all you do. I'm Black Boy in the Band, and just remember, keep practicing.